The angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. We beseech you, Lord, pour your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. I pray to you, O Lord, for a time of your favour. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, with your salvation that never fails. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Welcome to Mass this evening, though we are few of us, we shall nevertheless walk the stations of the cross after the prayer after communion and before the blessing we will need a hymn book we'll hymn, sing a verse a, a verse of, of a hymn as we go along and today in our prayer intention we're giving thanks to god for the commonwealth praying for all its member countries celebrating its diversity and energy revealed so beautifully in the recent service in Westminster Abbey. To prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us call to mind and acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of our sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just, and offer pardon to sinners who do penance. Have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, at the favorable time I will answer you. On the day of salvation I will help you. I have formed you and have appointed you as covenant of the people. I will restore the land and assign you the estates that lie waste. I will say to the prisoners, come out. To those who are in darkness, show yourselves. On every roadway they will graze, and each bare height shall be their pasture. They will never hunger or thirst. Scorching wind and sun shall never plague them. For he who pities them will lead them and guide them to springs of water. 
I will make a highway of all the mountains, and the high roads shall be banked up. Some are on their way from afar, others from the north and the west, others from the land of Sinim. Shout for joy, you heavens, exult, you earth. You mountains, break into happy cries, for the Lord consoles his people and takes pity on those who are afflicted. For Zion was saying, the Lord has abandoned me, the Lord has forgotten me. Does a woman forget her baby at the breast or fail to cherish the son of her womb? Yet even if these forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. The Lord is king and full of compassion. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, my father goes on working and so do I. But that only made the Jews even more intent on killing him because not content with breaking the Sabbath, he spoke of God as his own father and so made himself God's equal. To this accusation, Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, the son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees the Father doing, and whatever the Father does, the Son does too. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything he does himself, and he will show him even greater things than these, works that will astonish you. Thus, as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to anyone he chooses, for the Father judges no one. He has entrusted all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son as they honor the Father. Whoever refuses honor to the Son refuses honor to the Father who sent him. I tell you most solemnly, whoever listens to my words and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life. Without being brought to judgment, he has passed from death to life. I tell you most solemnly, the hour will come, in fact it is here already, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and all who hear it will live. For the Father, who is the source of life, has made the Son the source of life and because he is the son of man has appointed him supreme judge do not be surprised at this for the hour is coming when the dead will leave their graves at the sound of his voice those who did good will rise again to life those who did evil to condemnation I can do nothing by myself I can only judge as I am told to judge, 
and my judging is just because my aim is to do not my own will but the will of him who sent me the gospel of the Lord in the power of the spirit and in union with Christ let us pray to the father We pray for the church in this holy season of Lent that she may faithfully and courageously proclaim the face of Jesus Christ, the face of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for those especially being prepared for baptism at Easter and in the Easter season. Let us pray for the parish of St. Philip and St. James in Upheatherley, in the Diocese of Gloucester, another pa parish under the patronage of the Society for the Maintenance of the Faith. We pray for God's people there. Lord, hear us. Let us renew our prayers for the Commonwealth Nations giving thanks for our shared inheritance. Let us continue our prayers for peace and justice in the world. For the reconciliation of ancient conflicts. For the needs of all who are oppressed. and for all who are far from home. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for our parish, for all who live and work within its boundaries, especially for our parish school. Let us remember those in need. Chris, Meg and Sue, Joan, Anne, Claire, Margaret, Julie, Pauline, Roy, David, Jane, Julia, Derek, Beryl, Alfie, Yvonne, Ron, Grace, Richard, Jackie, Gareth, Derek, and Liz. That they may find healing and hope in the wounds of Christ, Lord, hear us. With the Guild of All Souls, we pray for the repose of the souls of Richard Paul Angwin, priest, Malcolm George Hannay, Dennis Askew, priest, Douglas Mugford and Kathleen Smith on this day of their year's mind. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Father, we ask that you would hear these prayers made in the name of your Son, our Saviour and our Redeemer. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that our sacrifice 
may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of John the Evangelist, the beloved disciple, our patron, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Christi. Sanguinis Christi. Re custodiat. In vitam eternam. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. the body of Christ.
Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them. Through Christ our Lord. We're using a form of the Stations of the Cross uh, that were written by Saint Alphonsus Ligiori. And they begin with this opening prayer. And then if you'd like to find hymn 379 in the hymn book, we'll use that first. O Lord Jesus, with what great love did you pass over the painful road which led you to death, and I, how often have I abandoned you. But now I seek to love you with my whole soul, and because I seek to love you, I am sincerely sorry for having offended you. My Jesus, pardon me and permit me to accompany you in this journey. You are going to die for love of me, and it is my wish also, my dearest Redeemer, to die for love of you. My Jesus, in your love I wish to live. In your love I wish to die. The first station of the cross. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, after having been scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My loving Jesus, it was not Pilate, no, it was my sins that condemned you to die. I beseech you, by the merits of this sorrowful journey to assist my soul in her journey towards eternity. In the cross of Christ I glory, tiring all the wrecks of time, all the light of sacred story, gathers round its head sublime. Second station of the cross. Jesus receives the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, in making this journey with the cross on his shoulders, thought of us and offered for us to his Father the death he was about to undergo. My most beloved Jesus, I embrace all the tribulations you have destined for me until death. I beseech you by the merits of the pain you suffered in carrying your cross to give me the necessary help to carry mine with perfect patience and resignation. When the foes of life overtake me, hopes deceive and fears annoy, never shall the cross forsake me, lo, it glows with peace and joy. The third station of the cross, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Cross, 
Consider this first fall of Jesus under his cross. His flesh was torn by the scourges. His head was crowned with thorns. He had lost a great quantity of blood. So weakened, he could scarcely walk. He yet had to carry this great load upon his shoulders. The soldier struck him rudely and he fell several times. My Jesus, it is the weight not of the cross, but of my sins, which has made you suffer so much pain. By the merits of this first fall, deliver me from the misfortune of falling into mortal sin. When the sun of bliss is beaming, light and love upon my way, from the cross the radiant streaming adds more luster to the day. The fourth station, Jesus is met by his blessed mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the meeting of the son and the mother which took place on this journey. Their looks became like so many arrows to wound those hearts which love each other so tenderly. My sweet Jesus, by the sorrow you experienced in this meeting, grant me the grace of a devoted love for your Holy Mother. And you, my Queen, who were overwhelmed with sorrow, obtain for me a continual and tender remembrance of the passion of your Son. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pain and blessing, pain and pleasure, by the cross are sanctified. Peace is there that knows no measure, joys that through all time abide. Would you like now to turn to him 439? The fifth station of the cross. The cross is laid upon Simon of Cyrene. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how his cruel tormentors, seeing Jesus was on the point of expiring and fearing he would die on the way, whereas they wished him to die the shameful death of the cross, constrained Simon of Cyrene to carry the cross behind our Lord. My most beloved Jesus, by your grace I will not refuse to carry the cross. I accept it, I embrace it, I accept in particular the death you have destined for me with all the pains which may accompany it. I unite it to your death. I offer it to you. You have died for love of me. 
I will die for love of you. Help me by your grace. Praise to the holiest in the height and in the depth be praise. In all his words most wonderful, most sure in all his ways. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Consider how the holy woman named Veronica, seeing Jesus so ill-used and bathed in sweat and blood, wiped his face with a towel on which was left the impression of his holy countenance. My most beloved Jesus, your face was beautiful before, but in this journey it has lost all its beauty and wounds and blood have disfigured it. Alas, my soul also was once beautiful when it received your grace in baptism, but I have disfigured it by my sins. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by your passion, O Jesus. O loving wisdom of our God, when all was sin and shame, a second adder to the fight and to the rescue came. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the second fall of Jesus under the cross a fall which renews the pain of all the wo wounds in his head and members. My Jesus, how many times have you pardoned me? And how many times have I fallen again and begun again to offend you? By the merits of this second fall, give me the help necessary to persevere in your grace until death. Grant that in all temptations which assail me, I may always commend myself to you. O oh, wisest love, that flesh and blood which did in Adam fail should strive afresh against the foe, should strive and should prevail. The eighth station of the cross, the women of Jerusalem mourn for our Lord. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how these women wept with compassion at seeing Jesus in such a pitiable state, streaming with blood as he walked along. Daughters of Jerusalem, he said, weep not for me, but for yourselves and for your children. My Jesus, laden with sorrows, I weep for the offences I have committed against you because of the pains they have deserved and still more because of the displeasure that they have caused you who have loved me so much. 
It is your love which causes me to weep for my sins. And that a higher gift than grace should flesh and blood refine God's presence and his very self and essence all divine. Ninth station, Jesus falls. A third time, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the third fall of Jesus Christ. His weakness was extreme, and the cruelty of his executioners excessive, who tried to hasten his steps when he could scarcely move. My outraged Jesus, by the merits of the weakness you suffered in going to Calvary, give me strength to conquer my wicked passions, which lead me to despise your friendship. O oh, generous love, that he who smart in man for man the foe, the double agony <coughs> should undergo. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the violence with which Jesus was stripped by the executioners. His inner garments adhered to his torn flesh, and they dragged them off so roughly that the skin came with them. Compassionate Saviour, cruelly treated. my most innocent Jesus. By the merits of the torment you have felt, help me to strip myself of all affection to the things of earth, that I may place all my love in you, who are so worthy of my love. And in the garden secretly and on the cross on high should teach his brethren and inspire to suffer and to die. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Consider how Jesus, having been placed upon the cross, extended his hands and offered to his eternal Father the sacrifice of his life for our salvation. Those barbarians fastened him with nails and then, securing the cross, allowed him to die with anguish on this infamous gibbet. My Jesus, loaded with contempt, nail my heart to your feet 
that it may ever remain there to love you and never more to leave you. Praise to the holiest in the height and in the death be praised. In all his words most wonderful, most sure in all his ways. Please turn now to hymn 82. Twelfth station of the cross. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have this mission before God. Consider how Jesus, being consumed with anguish after three hours' agony on the cross, abandoned himself to the weight of his body bowed his head and died. O oh, my dying Jesus, I kiss devoutly the cross on which you died for love of me. I have merited by my sins to die a miserable death, but your death is my hope by the merits of your death, give me grace to die embracing your feet and burning with love for you. I commit my soul into your hands. Draw drop slow tears and bathe those beauteous feet which brought from heaven the news and prince of peace. The thirteenth station of the cross. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Consider how, after our Lord had expired, two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, took him down from the cross and placed him in the arms of his afflicted mother, who received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him to her chest. O mother of sorrow, for the love of this son, Accept me for your servant and pray for me. And you, my Redeemer, since you have died for me, permit me to love you, for I wish but you and nothing more. Seize not wet eyes, his mercy to entreat, to cry for vengeance, sin doth never cease. The fourteenth station of the cross, Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Consider how the disciples, accompanied by his holy mother, carried the body of Jesus to bury it. They closed the tomb, and all came sorrowfully away. My buried Jesus, I kiss the stone that encloses you. 
but you rose again on the third day. I beseech you by your resurrection to make me rise in glory with you at the last day, to be always united with you in heaven, to praise you and love you forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In your deep floods, drown all my faults and fears, nor let his eyes see sin, but through my tears. The Lord be with you. May Christ crucified draw us to himself, to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope, and the assurance of our sins forgiven. And the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst us and remain with us always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. <laughs>